So in this video we want to look at sketching regions in the complex plane. So let's look at this first example. We want to sketch the region consisting of all complex numbers z such that the modulus of z is less than or equal to 2. Okay, so if we draw any complex number, like let's say here, say that's 1 plus i, then the modulus here, recall, is 1 squared plus 1 squared is the square root of 2 and that's less than or equal to 2. So we want to find all such complex numbers which satisfy this and the best way to think about this I mean if we look at the, the requirement the absolute value is equal to 2 or the modulus is equal to 2 then this should all lie on a circle. So let's, let's draw this extreme case first, so we have here as 2i, here as 2 on the real axis, here's the imaginary axis, and we'll have minus 2 and minus 2i, then this region here, so this, this circle here, this is when mod z the absolute value of z is equal to 2. And since we want it less than or equal to 2, we just have this entire disk here, so this entire region. And that's it for this example. Okay, so let's look at this region where we have the absolute value is bounded between 1 and 2. This thing is called an annulus. So if we take the extreme case of mod z equal to 1, and that's a circle of radius 1, but I'm going to dash it since we don't actually want to touch it. It's a strict inequality. And so that's at 1, or i, 1, minus i, and minus 1. And then we do the same thing for 2. Here we have minus 2, 2, 2i, two minus 2, and the region, well this should be minus 2i, the region we want is this here. We don't want these boundary circles because these are less than, not less than or equal to. Okay, let's look at another example. The set of all z in the complex plane such that z minus i is less than or equal to z minus 1. Okay, so intuitively what we want here is to look for all the points that are closer to i than they are to 1. So this is going to be something like a half space, but we want to figure out the boundary of this region when we drew these, like the annulus and the circle, we looked at the boundary first. So let's look at the boundary of this. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to write uh, mod z minus i as the square root of x squared plus y minus 1 squared. So I'm going to write z as x plus i y. And so that's what that is. And I'm going to look at the boundary case, so when, they, when we just have an equal sign here, not a less than or equal to. And z minus 1 is going to be x minus 1 squared plus y squared. Now I'll square both sides and I'll have x squared plus y minus 1 squared is x minus 1 squared plus y squared. I'll expand this out, I'll get y squared minus 2y plus 1 is x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus y squared. I can cancel these x squareds, I can also cancel the y squareds, and I can ca cancel the 1s. So minus 2y is minus 2x, and so y equals x. So the boundary of this region we're going to have 
is a line of this form, so y equals x. And looking at it, we want to look at all the points that are closer to i than they are to 1. And so i is obviously there, so we want to be in this half space. And we include the boundary. We include that because there's a less than or equal to. Okay, so let's try that again. Let's look at all the complex numbers which are closer to 1 than they are to 3i. So here what we'll do is again look at the boundary. So we'll have the square root of x squared plus y minus 3 squared. Oh, there's a slight complication there. So we have x squared plus y minus 3 squared. That's this region here. And we want to look at when that equals x minus 1 squared plus y squared. Okay, so again, square both sides. We'll get x squared, y minus 3 squared is x minus 1 squared plus y squared. Expand these out. I'll we'll get x squared plus y squared minus 6y plus 9. And that's equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus y squared. Cancel the x squared, the y squared. And I'll have minus 6y is minus 2x plus 1 minus 9. So minus 6y is minus 2x minus 8. I'll divide by 6, by negative 6. I'll get negative 2 over negative 6x minus 8 over negative 6. And this gives me 1 third x plus 4 over 3. So that's the boundary of our half space here. So let's, let's draw that. So what do I have? I've got 1 third x plus 4 thirds. So 4 thirds say is there and we're going to have a line probably be about this steep probably less steep to be honest but let's keep it like that and we're closer to the point 1 than we are to 3i and so we'll be in this region here this this intersect, intercept is uh, 4 on 3i. And maybe we should just label this as imaginary and real. And that's it. If you have any questions, just uh, let me know in the comments section. If you liked the video, hit the like button. And if you want to see more of this, hit the subscribe button. Um, there are practice problems available in the shoot notes which are down in the video description and worked solutions are available in the cheat notes which are also available in the video description.